Mm -hmm. Now, uh, misrepresentation or other fraudulent action during the course of a bankruptcy proceeding, yeah. violation of any prior specific judicial, administrative order, injunction, decree, or process <laughs> not addressed elsewhere in the guidelines. Oh, <laughs> a misrepresentation to a consumer connection with obtaining, providing, or furnishing. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, financial assistance for uh, institutions of higher education increased by two levels. <laughs> <laughs> and then the defendant relocated, oh, or participated in relocating mm -hmm, a fraudulent scheme to another jurisdiction to evade law enforcement or regulatory officials. Yes. Could you give me the relocation of every police officer in Clallam County for the last 40 years? <laughs> it seemed that there's some sort of fraudulent scheme that nobody wants to talk about. I'm going to want to know the last 40 years of relocation where you said, well, I'm retiring and moving to the Bahamas. Chief of Police, Terry Gallagher. Now, I did shake your hand and uh, I did email you. Uh, Bill Dixon, former Chief of Police of Squim. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just going to want to know, you're relocating because of the fraudulent scheme of issuing fraudulent court orders because of the amount of wealth that I'm actually worth? Yes. Open the door right now. <laughs> now, I'm going to want to know... Each individual in every city, yes, county, <laughs> tribal government, and the state that has intentionally relocated, yes, because they just didn't want the, the problems of prosecuting those that are involved in the family. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Getting a little hot out there, is it? <laughs> now, my thought is whenever you leave because of your knowledge of the fraud, the scheme, ouch, of concealing the crime, poof. You were kind of, oh, look at Deputy Fish Caveman. Oh, my gosh. You decided that they should all leave? Ouch. You know, it's one thing to train somebody in the family's way of doing things and then have them transplanted to different <laughs> police right now. But when I really look at it, okay, mm -hmm. this 1001, yes, mm -hmm. seems to be somewhat important. Title 18, <laughs> United States Code Section 10 makes it a crime, yes, to knowingly and willfully, yes, make any materially false, mm -hmm. fictitious or fraudulent statement or representation, yeah, in any matter within the jurisdiction, yes. Yeah, of the executive, legislative, and judicial branch of the United States. Now, your lie, yes, does not even have to be made directly to an employee of the national government, as long as it's within the jurisdiction of the three branches of the federal government. Uh, within the jurisdiction, I think it's very important. Mm -hmm. I happen to be in the jurisdiction of the United States of America. Yes. I told you that I wanted you to remove your fraud. Mm -hmm. You said no. I had a motion to fucking court. Mm -hmm. Then you lied to those in uh, other cities and counties. Yes, because I have documented that. Pooch. And then every day I told you right now. I'm going to prosecute and have civil tort lawsuits as the lead plaintiff of class action lawsuits involving any and all citizens that have knowledge of this crime. So I want every... I want my sons. I want to speak to Marilyn about what she wants. Yes. Now they have uh, some precedents. United States versus Gaudin. Yes. Um, this precedence that could be used in these class action lawsuits for the government trying to conceal and cover up their own crimes. Yes. It could be in the hundreds of billions of dollars. And you think about all those citizens that could use a little extra. Because they <laughs> United States versus your mean. Yeah, I thought this was interesting. Yes, we did. Now, let's say 
the United States Supreme Court rejected the doctrine, oh, is that what you did, <laughs> as being inconsistent with legislative intent. Oh, how is the Supreme Court? <laughs> Thus, mm -hmm. the only avenue for reform, yes, with respect to Section 1001, is in Congress where politicians <laughs> seldom get brownie points for narrowing the reach of federal criminal statutes. <laughs> how are those individuals employed in Congress now? <laughs> because they <laughs> look at that.